the body is not real mind is not real our waking state is a dream state of which we are unaware because of the illusion the only real concept is pure being or pure awareness with this what goes from life to life it is not the body or the mind so what is the entity against which all karma is recorded is it against the reflected consciousness in illusion who keeps track of karma is it the pure consciousness keeping a record of all karma notice what was said world is not real body is not real waking is equal to dream fine then then comes the question karma who is going from lifetime to lifetime why do you regard that as real you just said notice what you yourself said world is not real this lifetime is an appearance waking state is a dream then again why are you asking what goes from lifetime to lifetime how, where is karma who recording who is recording karma is this is this is the confusion we say and uh, on one hand i understand advaita vedanta says that the world is an appearance brahman alone is real the next i say yes it is an appearance but who is the one living here who is the one who going from this life to that next life uh, it's like saying that um, i understand when i am seeing uh, a movie cinema that it is uh, it's it's all a movie it's not real then the neither is there a the hero nor is there a villain nor is a crime been committed nor is there a court case i understand all of that is a dream it's it's a fiction it's a movie next i'm asking but who will punish the villain where will the villain if it's all a dream then when which jail with the villain go to the, um, what will be the reward of the hero who will keep track of reward and punishment you have just said the whole thing is a story so in advaita vedanta to clear up this confusion what we do is we have two levels of truth two levels of reality ultimate level and our transaction level actually ultimately there will be multiple levels there is the ultimate level paramarthika there is this worldly level of uh, transactions called vyavaharika there is the level of error and dream and illusion called pratibhasika there is even an error of complete non existence called tuchcha or asat but let's just take two levels ultimate level relative level take the movie example what is the ultimate uh, reality of the movie it is just light and screen that's the ultimate reality yeah. pictures on our screen that's the ultimate reality in the movie and what is the relative level of the movie oh there is a hero and there is a villain and there is car chase and there is a court case and uh, reward and punishment whole story is there happiness misery and there will be a whole plot is there that's at the level of fiction that's at the level of the movie two levels are there it is not a very strange abstract philosophical concept you know one may say that oh what is this two levels of truth sounds very abstract we always use it whenever you're talking about fiction story book whenever you're talking about a movie cinema or or theater there are always two levels one is at the level of your own existence and the other one is at the level of the story similarly in advaita vedanta brahman is the ultimate reality existence consciousness place an infinite being awareness satyam gyanam anantam brahma that's the only reality there is nothing else apart from it the first thing that a student of vedanta learns it's in the vedanta sara uh, we have to memorize vastu satchidananda madvayam brahma the only reality is that uh, existence consciousness bliss non dual brahman the moment you say non dual no two there's nothing apart from that but there seems to be something apart from it what seems to be there world is there full of uh, millions of beings uh, living and non living there is history uh, there is there are human beings there is myself especially i am there uh, body mind thoughts feelings emotions all of this is there then if it is not a reality apart from brahman what can you call it except fiction except mithya except appearance so advaita vedanta says brahma satyam jagat mithya where brahman is real the world is an appearance two levels reality level appearance level 
how does that help the question <coughs> answer the question the question was if everything is an appearance everything is uh, not real or appearance level mithya um then uh, what about karma what goes from lifetime to lifetime remember karma and what goes from lifetime to lifetime even lifetime to lifetime all of that is within the level of appearance mithya the level of the movie not the level of the screen not the level of brahman from the ultimate standpoint there is no lifetime there is no something going from something to something there is no karma good and bad no result of karma no need for somebody to record that karma also that uh, that is at the ultimate level so nothing is there no when we are experiencing it at a relative level vyavaharika level all of that is there so vyavaharika level what is going the sukshma sharira the physical body dies the subtle body goes from lifetime to lifetime the tendencies of past karmas are recorded in the subtle body in in the karana sharira actually causal body and um, in the cosmic causal body that is maya all our karma is recorded and that gives rise to uh, experiences of each jiva in the future so and the lord of all of this who is the person responsible to whom should i write my appeals god is the person responsible the personal god of religion advaita vedanta accepts all of that but calls it vyavaharika transactional reality relative reality lower reality appearance equal to falsity that's it so the two distinctions i have often told you the story of sometimes i mention one of our monks used to ask this question in indian religions you find multiple lifetimes birth and death again and again and again and in judaism christianity islam one lifetime so which one is true punar janma ya ek jan one one lifetime or or multiple lives so finally he went to ask a very radical non dualist teacher a monk who lived in the himalayas uh, in a nearby ashram this whole ashram was also in the himalayas so this monk was asked so what is true one lifetime or many lifetimes and the monk replied swami when there is not even one birth where is the question of rebirth jab janm hi nahi mahatma ji to punar janm kahe ka aap mandukya padhiye please go and study mandukya so this monk was very annoyed he came the, who had asked the question he came and told me these advaita non dualists are impossible to argue with i have gone with a serious question uh, many lifetimes or one lifetime and he dismisses the whole thing he says go and study at the mandukya so that is the advaitic perspective from the ultimate perspective no multiple lifetimes not even one lifetime was brahman ever born did the screen ever become the hero or the villain no but at the relative level level of movie hero and villain both appear and there is a story and there is a plot and there is something true about the story something false about the story also all those things are true at the relative level ultimately brahman alone is reality and that brahman you are not only brahma satyam brahman is real not only jagat mithya world is an appearance hmm. higher truth lower truth ultimate truth relative truth but also most important jiva brahmai vanapara you are none other than brahman you the, uh, the individual being who thinks of yourself as a jiva you are none other than that ultimate reality that's the most important thing Yes.